Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my Mums R Us um, unboxing. So I just got another order in and hopefully this will be it for homecoming supplies and this should get me through. Uh, sometimes during the season, I have to order some more stuff because you just never know what's going to be the big sellers and you know what I'm going to sell the most of and blah, blah, blah. So I just do my best. So I'm going to go back and forth on this video between the unboxing and their website so you can see exactly what I ordered. So I hope that helps you out, especially for those that are new to ordering places like this. So it's called Mums R Us, but it's mumsrsandmore.com. The link is in the description, so don't worry about trying to look it up. You can just go into my description and click the link and it'll take you right to it. So I only needed two rolls of the two and a half, the number 40. I surprisingly didn't have burgundy. I was really shocked at that. I had some two inch, so I think that's why I didn't have the two and a half, but I went ahead and got the two and a half. Uh, usually I get several orders of burgundy, so definitely use it. And then I was low on the red, so that's why I got the holiday red as well. And I forgot to say, I was too busy talking. I got the four and a half or the four inch flowers. They just got those four inch flowers in, and I use quite a few of those. I use them in mini mums and uh, different small mums, and uh, the four inch seems to be really popular. And they, I didn't open any of the flowers up, but I don't know if you could tell from the packaging, but it looked they looked really full, so I was really excited about that. They looked pretty. I only got one decorative ribbon. I'm I've been buying, every time I order, I buy some decorative ribbon, and I don't know why I hadn't gotten this burgundy or maroon, because um, you, you guys know, those of you that make maroon or burgundy mums know how hard it is to find pretty ribbons in those colors, so finding that solid glitter right there in, that it's labeled maroon, so pretty, and I was so excited about that, I don't know how I missed that before, because I've ordered some of that glitter ribbon. <laughs> They have so many really pretty ribbons, and I have some of those other ones already. So I stocked up on the luster because I have a lot of you know that I have been making braids like crazy. Hopefully I'll use a lot of them, sell some of them. But use, making all those braids, now I'm low on a lot of these 7 8 and 9 16 now <laughs> that I just bought. So I went ahead and bought some more just in case because you never know how your mum season's going to look. And I don't like have an order last minute or during the season because you never know what anybody's going to have or what they're going to be out of. So every time I unbox, I'm going to kind of go back and forth to their website so you can see exactly what those ribbons are, what those colors are. Just try to make it a lot easier for y'all. You can see the names and everything. The gold label, again, if you are unfamiliar, the gold label is Luster. We really prefer those for the braids and such. They are, um, it is a cheaper than acetate and it holds up better. I think it's thicker and it, it just, it, it really does hold up a lot better. But there's a certain colors that you can only get in acetate. And I did order some more acetate, so you're going to see that as well. But all these gold labels, those are all luster. And I highly recommend using luster. I know people use all kinds of ribbons and, um, polypropylenes and floras and and I have a lot of those too but I prefer luster over everything that is my favorite uh, there's radiant ribbon I haven't ever used any of that I know there's a lot of people that like it I just experiment and play around see what you like but highly recommend luster it's not going to let you down that is not white that is the new silver gray silvery gray silver gray so it is just you know just a light light gray it could almost pass for white it's so light and I went ahead and got it in the 9 16 the 7 8 and the um, 1 and 5 16 because uh, pewter is what I was using before with like the silver like the whites and silvers and and pewter which I really like but they're discontinuing the pewter if you look on the when I show it on when I show the website and when you see pewter it says discontinued discontinue next to it they still have some so but as soon as they sell out of that that's going to be it and I do love the pewter but um, I went ahead and got the silver gray so I could start trying it see there at the very bottom it says pewter discontinued color so whatever they have left is what they have so if you love that you should go ahead and stock up on it 
I'm showing you can click on these and I think they have most of the colors you can see. Except for the pewter. The pewter's not, I don't know if they took it off or it's just not showing anymore. The holiday gold is, um, that's when I was getting low on. I used quite a bit of it last year and hadn't reordered any of it. So I think I got it. And I did not have it last year in the 1 and 5 sixteenths. I had it in the, the number 40 and I had it in the 9 sixteenths and the 7 eighths. But I did not have it in the number 9. So I went ahead and ordered it for the number 9. But I had to get it also in the number 3 and number 5 because I was getting really low on it. That one, I, I'm not sure how you say that one, Cyclamen. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. Please tell me if you know. Hot pink. That's what I'm going to call it. But I got it in the 916 last year and I did use it. So I went ahead and ordered it in a couple more sizes and I went ahead and got the French lavender. I really think it's a really pretty color. Nobody has ordered that yet, but I figure if I get it and make a few things, people will see it, then maybe they will. You know, a lot of times with these, with mums and different colors and stuff, people need to see it before they want to order it. Like or they may just assume you don't make with those colors or like, you know, it, it was forever before I got a paw print mum. And I think it's just because I didn't have one out there. And so it, it's kind of like that with triples and stuff. Like once you get one out there, then they start seeing them and you start selling more of them. So, you know, if you can make some samples, that's always a good idea to make a sample up or make one to sell and you know hope to sell for that season that way people can see that you can do it but there's that french lavender and i already have the pinks the regular pinks I, i'm still good on those so and then of course i needed some more diamond dust because again i made a ton of braids already and i was low on this soft gold the uh and then they just got black red and i think think royal blue in this size of diamond dust. I just got the black. I do have a lot of colors of diamond dust in smaller rolls, but I wanted to get the black and the big roll. And then those two sizes and the silver I needed. So the seven eights and the five eights. The five eights does not come in regular gold. They don't have it in regular gold. They only have it in soft gold, but I use a ton of it. And I'm excited to get, have a big roll of the black too see there's the black yeah black gold soft gold royal blue red and silver I didn't use hardly any red or blue last year I used some uh, with but I still have plenty on those smaller rolls so it just didn't justify for me to go ahead and order bigger rolls maybe next year but definitely on the black cuz uh, I think I'll use a lot of the black see that only comes in the silver and soft gold I wish it came in the regular gold too but it doesn't and then I got two foam volleyballs it's always nice to have some things to put on a mum like on a braid or on the mum head that are already made and you know that are cute and sparkly and stuff like that and those are really inexpensive I have the drill tune boots I think I have the um, cheer megaphone and then I have the 3d f football and the 3d basketball I have a few things from Walmart. This was probably the only thing that wasn't on clearance. Poster board. It was for something for this 10 pack. Here's the sheets. They look like foil, but I don't think they're like the shiny. They're more of a matte finish. And then I got this cutting board but cutting mat it's pre-cut it's got these strips in it so you can use your rotary cutter so here's how I use your rotary cutter and you can cut straight lines I got this infusible ink for three dollars I had a bunch of it too. Shower curtain hooks, because I use these to hang up some of my braids. It's two fifty for these. I 
Kingston's uh, three pack of scissors for four dollars. The scissors for a dollar fifty. I think it's the big one. Looks like it's the big one. Oh, I got some masking tape. That was not on clearance either. Some safety pins. Four fifty. Has the pin cushion thing. I guess it just screws on. Some needles. This is should be the ones that you thread. Yeah, easy threading needles. I use those sometimes on hair bows and I'm really low on them. They disappear. Some elastic for a dollar. It's really fine. You can use that for hanging uh, trinkets and bells and such. Okay, everything else should be buttons. I had a lot of buttons on clearance. This one, of course, was huge. It was $4.50, so it wasn't cheap, but it was on clearance. I only got one of those. The rest of these were, I mean, they were anywhere from 50 cents to 450. I don't know. I can't remember what the prices are at Hobby Lobby, so it may not be all that great. You know, the Hobby Lobby has pretty good prices on their buttons. I thought those were cute. Kind of uh, Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse, or Minnie Mouse, and almost a Hello Kitty kind of buttons. They're like a generic. There we go. And some owls. I have gotten owl mascots a few times. So that would be cute. And either on a ring mom, especially like the bigger one. I don't think it's focusing. There it goes. Or in the, in the middle of a bow. And then here's just some red, uh, red, white, and blue stars that are kind of shiny or metallic looking. Some pearls. Sparkly. Black with like silver. Diamonds in the middle. I had two of those. Some big pearls. These are really pretty. And this one. And that was all. $58.65 for all of that. Let's see. The stars, the package of stars were $1.50. I've got buttons $1.00, $1.50, $1.50 would have been the big one. $1.50, $2.00, $1.50, $3.00. $3.00 was the ones that look like Minnie Mouse and Winnie the Pooh. A lot of those buttons were $1.50. I can't remember, like I said, what they are at Hobby Lobby, but they do have good prices at Hobby Lobby. But, you know, some of these are different and there's some big ones. So, just couldn't pass that up. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. Be please be kind with your comments. Be kind to yourself. Happy crafting, happy mum making, and I'll catch you all on the next one.